Hey there team, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Astronia. So, as is the theme at the moment, you might have noticed on the channel, we're rebooting everything that I want out the front. Uh, it's a perfect time for it being, you know, 2021, January, bit slow on the game releases, so this gives me an opportunity to really put the, the stuff out there that I like, to put it in front of you, and, you know, give them all a bit of a, bit of, bit of a second chance, or a third chance, or a fourth chance, depends. In this case, Astroneer is probably the perfect example. So we've we've had a few false starts with this on the channel, um, but uh, I've got a good feeling about this run this time around. So Astroneer is a personal favorite, near and dear to my heart. I absolutely love it to death. It is the perfect example of getting the whole UI and UX just blurred in there, um, uh, backpacks as, as menus, and, and just never ever letting you take yourself out of the game. It's always immersive you don't leave men into menus you'll see what i mean if you're not familiar with the game it's got a very cutesy aesthetic um but it's actually got a fairly i don't want to say hardcore but a, a fairly well considered loop in that you start on a little planet you have this oxygen tether system which is incredibly inspired you have power management you can die through to sort of hazards and and accidents um, but for, for the most part, it's, it's about um, recognizing that you need to travel from planet to planet in the solar system to get the resources required to progress forward. It's a phenomenal game, make no mistake, and it's the sort of thing that deserves a place on this channel. Okay, so start a new adventure game. Let's bloody disco. I do like being the fat man. I do like that fat suit, but we've got all these other things that we can unlock. Holiday top hat. Oh my. Put a mask over your mask, eh? Okay, I guess not. I don't have any masks. Redeem code. Wow, oh, look at all these different colors. Some of them don't agree with me. They make me want to spew. We're just going to go with uh, LD Falto, I think. Here we go. You see what I mean? Like, it just immediately pops my little dude out. So that's this planet's moon, which will probably be the first place we go to after this planet. Oh, I love this game. Oh, what is this shit next to us? That looked maybe... Christmassy? Little, lots of little robots. Out we go, here we go, let's get established. Oh, let's bloody let's bloody investigate this. Automation. Package and send via exo request platform recovery. 20 recovery points. Have I just lucked out landing right next to all these little blokes? Packager. Debris. Packager. Okay, so this must be a Christmas event thing, a la Satisfactory. It's like giant presents. I can see one. There was one I could see over there somewhere as well. Cool. Anyway, we don't want to suffocate. So let's get the ball rolling. So we're going to start over here. Initialize cargo drop. So this is your sort of starting package, right? You can infinitely respawn it, but it will replace the bits that drop. Oxygenator. Let's get that going. There's a perfectly good hole that we can put this in on our base, if we can find it. Oh, there it is. I've gone all the way around. So that's good. So that allows us to get oxygen through our tether system. Starting platform. Let's get that down. Open that up. Plug this in. So it's powered. And then what's this? Medium printer. Let's... Bloody go. No, 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 no. Just place it, little man. Stop doing that, please. How do I, uh... How do I fucking rotate this again? No, no. I thought it was, uh... Oh, it's C and V. There we go. Cool. All right, ball's rolling. Um, we kind of want to... I really want compound first. I don't necessarily see any within eyeballs range so we need building mats um 
Let's go check out this bloody forest. We'll crest this hill and see what we can see. Okay. Oh, perfect. Look at this. That's what Daddy wants to see. We might uh, build this immediately. Tethers. So this is the oxygen system that I was talking about. It's incredibly clever. Oh my god. Hang on. Stop just dropping them. Oh wow, they've got like little green knobs on them. Oh, it's kind of... It's like Christmas lights! That's cool. So if you connect them up, we're basically going to have oxygen as far as we can tether out. And if you're fast about it, you can actually sort of drop them on the move. Now what's this? I think this is ammonia crystals. Yeah, organic and ammonium. Let's get some more compound. Alright, that's cool having that right next to base. Very handy. Alright, let's start bloody going. So the core loop in this is to research bits and bobs. I already saw little little knobs, little research knobs. They grow on these like bushes and stuff. I could have sworn I saw some somewhere. Maybe one over here. Yeah, like this. So you can actually just hot research this on the spot and cash it in, or you can put it in a machine. The consensus from my viewers is just just do it the way I did it then. And you can get larger carryable ones that you put into the research machine. So that's sort of the, the big uh, where we want to go first, right? So here's our medium printer. Research chamber. We'd want resin and compound. We've also got a little printer here you saw me print the tethers with. We can do all sorts of cool little things with this. But um, finding resin is probably a good idea, to be honest. Let's explore over here. God damn. Kind of got to move a bit slower if you're trying to tether along. I think I see resin all the way over. Oh, there we go. This on there. Um. Tethers. Good to be playing this game. Game of Kings. Was it just that one random clump? I mean, it's detecting organic. No, that's detecting resin down there. You can see the little the little symbol on my on my drill. Any more? No, just organic. Oh no, there's resin down there. Tell me there's resin down there. There we go. Wow, what a struggle of a hole. Okay, let's fuck that off. I thought I saw some up here on that hill, though. Looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, there's another present. Oh, there's resin there. Oh, there's so much resin. So I'm pressing T to deploy these little oxygen lines. Let's get three for good measure. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. There's some more compound and resin over there. Nice. Okay, so we don't have to go too far from base. Am, am I out of... Uh,
Got like a little little drum beat going on. I'm out of compound. I thought I'll just zip over here and grab some and make some tethers. Just straight line it back to base, you know. Can be bloody to the city when I'm done with this place. Nice. All right, so. I will probably get the research machine up and going because that's probably a good idea. Oh, well, we need to compound for that. Oh, is this somehow not connected? Oh, you know what's going on? I think, does that connect all the way around? No, oh, maybe not. Who cares? It's connected now. That's what matters. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you like you'll be drilling out a hole and you'll accidentally drill out your connection back up, and uh, you'll be stuck underground with a severed oxygen umbilical. That's always interesting. All right, look at that. We have so much now. Okay. Medium printer, let's go. Oh, research chamber, sorry. Let me out. Now, where is it? This is the this is where you spend your research on all sorts of cool things. Light blue means I've already got it. I've already got the ability to make a small printer. Unlocked. Red says, I could get it, but I don't have the bytes for it. And these are all small printables. This whole menu is stuff that I could make with my small printer, should I unlock them. Then we go to the medium printer, which is what we're using. No, no, no. I, what are we using at the medium printer? Yeah. I thought there might be another printer in between. Well, this makes the medium printer apparently. Large printer. Shelter. I think that's a small printer. So there's a personal, small, and yeah, so the small can make the medium and the medium can make the large. I think that's how it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll have to make a small printer, I suppose. So this is draining power. You can see our sort of power capacity there. And we have like an RTG on our shelter that's generating power at a, at a fairly basic rate. Yeah, look, so now that umbilical's untethered from the base, so there's only allowed to be one, and it runs through that, that's interesting. But if I were to like sever this, I'm assuming that would reconnect. Yeah, okay, interesting. Let's just wait for this bloke to build. This is a whole caving component. The, the entire planet can be explored, from what I understand. Like, they're not humongous. It's like a miniaturized solar system. But, um, it's humongous enough. And there's a whole cave system underneath as well. Right, so we're probably going to need to build a platform for that. Large platform. Let's do that. Even though I wanted to build the medium printer, we might as well get that platform out of the way. Now, now, what's going on here? Hang on. Via Exo Request Platform. Now, that's not what this is, I don't think. No, that's a landing pad. The Exo Request Platform is probably something I can make by default because it's an event item. Um, I wonder. There it is there, I think. Exo Request. Ceramic and resin. So that's sort of like for a meta event, which is what this is. 
package and send. Right, so I, I saw we have a packager. I probably have to dig it out. Right, so I think you attach it like that. You package it. There you go. And if we had that platform, we'll be able to send that pack. I like that it's got a little bow on it. That's very cute. I like that a lot. Yeah, so a big part of this this is uh, about handling like power draw. Um, so we don't have anything to research just yet, but that's good to set us up. So yeah, it, the the research machine will draw power over time, and it will operate at a lower sort of level. But there's a the more power that you can provide it, the better. Um, so we'll get to that in a minute. Large printer. Large printer. Okay, hang on. Maybe I make the medium printer from here. Or the small printer. There we go. Small printer. I believe it will generate its own platform. Some of these small things, you just place them down and they have their own platform. Like that. Perfect. All right. Let's just plop him over there. Yeah. So now we've got a small and medium printer and a little personal printer as well. All sorts of little things that we can make. Oh, I can make automation. Automatons. Cubic object. Stellar object. I don't know what any of this shit is. Cosmic bauble. I mean, this is all clearly part of the event, right? Which is cool. We'll get to that. So we're, we're kind of sitting pretty, to be perfectly honest. Um... And then this is how you save. You go into your, go into your little house and out you come. So like I said, it's all seamless. The UI pretty much is constantly seamless. Um, can we build some storage? Medium storage, two resin. Oh, is that resin up there on that hill? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Jeez, I zipped through all the, uh... All the compound, didn't I? Good thing we got plenty more. Tether me up, baby. And let's go have a look up on that hill. Ah. I'm too busy sliding along having a, a, a glee old time. Oh, there's research as well. I think I think we can research that. Nice. Rock takes a bit to dig. Jeez, what's with all these little phantom bits of resin? That's the second one we've come across, so it's sort of like a false positive. Bring this home with us. Hmm. Jeez, good thing we didn't fall down that hole. Fuck me. Seem to be out of tethers. Can I play with my backpack? Well, no, I can't. That's alright. Let's just get a bloody wriggle on. We'll 
There we go. Get a little touch up there. Nice. Okay. So. Put that in the research machine. Fire her up. And that's sort of the rate that it's going at. But if we sort of help it with its draw, there's not a lot. The funny thing about this is power generation is where this game actually gets you early. You don't have the tools to make batteries or anything like that. But I can make a small generator. I can put organic on it. Listen to that thing turn up. It's going much faster. But it does use up the organic to do it. So you can make basic burn batteries. Um, let's continue our exploration. Tethers. Now, I think I've got a cardinal if I mouse over my dude. I do. Let's go south. Oh, is that a big ball of research right here? It is too. Let's bring that home. And you can build little rovers and cars eventually, so that'll help with what we're doing at the moment. We'll just plonk you there, sir. You can sit there for the moment. Now, I don't think you get storms on this starting planet anymore. You did in the super early versions of Astroneer. You had to be really careful of locking everything down. Here we go. There's a wind generator. The rest is just like debris. Which... Yeah, the big bits I don't think you can do much about, but the small bits you can sort of pick up into your backpack in a stack. Oh, is that an intact platform? No, it's debris. I think you can like shift click it straight into your inventory. There we go. Yeah, so not so much these. Oh, it's big rocks that are in the way. I was like, what's going on there? Yeah, that's technically debris. Interesting. Then we can salvage this up. So, salvaging debris comes later, I think in the sort of technology tree, but I thought I'd show you. See, we've got little little debris bundles, which is kind of cute, actually. Look at this, man. Debris, debris. I'm out of a medium wind turbine. Yes. Extenders. Oh, I don't know. So this extra power generation is going to go a long way. Like I said, you, the basic materials to build, um, I believe batteries especially, but I think generators as well, is beyond this planet. So that's one of those things that will sort of niggle at you. You, you really need to get a, a strong power network. And you can't really do it without just free exploring on this planet. All right, we're going to need a... Like a small platform or something. 
Yeah, that'll do perfectly. We need resin for that. We also, didn't we find a, yeah, here we go. Got a wind gen, I think you can platform it down like that. Nice, but the wind's not really blowing at the moment. Let's put some more organics in there. And we'll go get some more resin. See, this stuff grows back as well. So you can kind of farm it. There's resin over here as well, wasn't there? Yes. we got plenty then. Let's head back. Better build this thing before I forget what I was doing. It's cool that the uh, the beacon system is line of sight and because these planets are so small the, the curvature of the planet is significant. So you don't have to travel very far before you can't actually see this beacon because you can't draw a line of sight to it. It's a cool problem uh, that's unique to the this particular game. You can hear the power grid just not like that because it's overdrawn. I'm still not clear on, you know, the little red and the yellow and how that all makes sense. All right, we'll plug that in. Big turbine. Oh, you can see the they're turning ever so slightly, both of them. That's what that's why you can hear the power tip tipping up. That's cool, so that got finished perfect timing. Let's put another one in. And it's automatically going. There's an whole automation system got added fairly recently, at the tail end of last year. Um so buttons stay pressed unless you attach like an automated button presser and that sort of stuff. It's all pretty cool. And then, uh, how much research we got? 500 bytes. So we can probably do a bit of damage with that. So, pretty cool. Anyway, it's good to be back. I really, really enjoy this game. Um, like I said, I'm sort of rebooting all the stuff that I think is in line with the general direction of this channel. Throwing it out there, seeing what sticks, seeing what people are interested in. Hopefully this is well received and you never know, it can turn into a much longer series. I'd like that. Alright team, might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.